Y'all know what time it is now, baby. Let me go and transition real quick. Oh, we go ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. We, we ring the bell. Uh, what's good? Who we got this week going down? We got, and, and, we got her call. Ring the bell. We got Jamal Wills. Nice. Nice. Because, you know, when I talked about Jerry West, they said, well, he only got good one ring. So I guess all the people like guys got. And last week I talked about John Havlicek. And John Havlicek got eight rings and a finals MVP. And he's 8-0. In the NBA Finals. Yeah. 8 and 0 in the NBA. I want, I want all y'all Michael Jordan fans to say, to listen. John Havlicek played in eight NBA Finals. He won eight. So, so stop talking about 6 and 0. But anyway, we're talking about Jamal Wilkes uh, right you now. You know, I'm taking Just, shots. I'm taking <laughs> shots. Jamal Wilkes, uh, a.k.a. where his, his real name was, uh, where his real name is Jamal Wilkes. His name was Keith Wilkes at first, and he changed it because of his religion. And his, but his nickname is Silk because he was so smooth. Oh and yeah, his shot was so sweet, and all of his moves were just long, athletic, and sweet moves. So that's why they called him Silk. Yeah, and he won two NCAA championships at uh, UCLA. That's during John Wooden years when uh, you know John Wooden was winning everything. But he won two NCAA championships. Then he came to the NBA. In 1975, he was the rookie of the year. And in uh, 1977, he won an NBA championship with uh, Rick Barry and the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. Now, with Rick Barry was a uh, was a, uh, finals MVP. But uh, Jamal Wilkes still played a significant role in that series. So you could go back and look at it. And then by 1980, he went to the Lakers. And uh, won a championship with uh, Magic Johnson. Well, actually won three championships with Magic Johnson. And uh, in 1980, in that infamous game where Magic Johnson played center yeah. and got 42 points and 15 rebounds, this is what nobody's never going to tell you, that Jamal Silk Wilkes had 37 points and 10 rebounds in that same game. So that's why I always say you're no better than your teammates. So if Magic wouldn't have had some good support, that 42 and 15 wouldn't have done him no good. But it, but one of his but his main teammate had uh, 37 and 10. And uh, Jamal Wilkes never did win win the Finals MVP, but he was a very big cog in that Lakers uh, five year well five championships. He was there for three. And in 1982, when James Worthy came to the Lakers. Which James Worthy ended up being a Finals MVP. The reason the Lakers were nowhere in no hurry for James Worthy to come in and start is because he came in and developed a year or two. A lot of people forget he was a backup small forward behind Jamal Wilkes for his first year or two at the Lakers. Wow. Now you know that now the kind of game that the Lakers ran, it was a lot of times that him and Jamal Wilkes was on the floor at the same time. But they both were actually small forwards, and he was a starting small forward to 1985. Then he went to uh, the L.A. Clippers. So he's got four championships in the NBA, two in college. And uh, he's a very... And where, where was he at in college? Oh. UCLA. UC, uh, UCLA was running things, man. Yeah, he was. And he was one of the ones that helped uh, UCLA win a championship in between Kareem and Bill Walton. Was, was he wooden? Was he on the wooden? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he was on the wooden. And, and, and if you go back and look at him play and watch him play, and you'll 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 know. And he's also one of the fifty greatest. He was on the fifty greatest list. Nice. So he is a player. Yeah. With four rings, and they like the rings on Ring the Bell. Cause when somebody said Jerry West only got one ring, I just want y'all to go back and look at it. Jerry West did everything he could could to win because he has all the NBA final scoring records. Uh, what do you say to these people that come out here and say? The 80s was the worst. Like, Gilbert Arenas. Well, that's, is, because, uh, of, he is, that's because Gilbert don't know what he's talking about. Well, because he, say, he says that the 80s was the worst era of basketball because uh, it was the, the NBA was cleaning up from a, a lot of guys that was using uh, booger sugar. Well, right? well this is... And, this uh, is so he this was saying what, it wasn't the, 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 the best brand of basketball. Like, he was saying... All the rounds of the draft they had back then, he was saying there's no way Bill Lambert would have been drafted these days 
because he was drafted in the third round back then, and they don't even have that many rounds these days. Yeah. Like, he mm-hmm. said a whole bunch of stuff, you know, well, that makes sense. Gilbert, Gilbert is just a shock job that don't really, because this is this is the thing. You know, everybody talk about Bill, Bill Lambert, uh, uh, fouls and all that, but but Bill Lambert was a 6'11 center that could shoot 18 feet, 15, 18. That's where his shots came from. So he was a he was a center shooting outside, nice. you know. And uh, Bill Lambert, if you 6'11 and you can shoot 18 feet from the goal like Bill Lambert did, you can play today. So that's Bill, what they yeah, did. I was about to say Bill sounded like he was a little bit ahead of his time. I mean. No, all of that's a well, foul because he's what uh, 16, 6'11? Yeah, all, all but that's you're saying guys, tall guys been shooting the rock, tall guys been shooting all that's fallacy. And then, and, and this is the thing that I want to ask Gilbert if those guys, you know, and they always say the guys were drunk and high, yeah, but okay, uh, go look it up. The 60s, they say they couldn't play, that's a high scoring decade. If they couldn't play, that's a very indictment, bad indictment on the guys today because if y'all so great, y'all can't even outscore. A bunch of plumbers and fire. When was the merger? Merger was what seven? It was in 75, 75, 76. 75, 76. Yeah. And when the ABA came yeah, on, yeah. And uh, guys like Bob McAdoo was shooting uh, outside. He was a stretch four before they even came up with the term. Yeah. And, and he, he led the league in scoring. And he was a he was a uh, if, uh, regular season MVP. Yeah. Bob McAdoo was yeah. A dog. And, and he and was that. shooting and he was shooting twenty feet, twenty two feet from the rim. And uh, he was doing it all, putting the ball on the floor, driving at six foot ten. So all that stuff that saying, you know, it may be more guys can do it now, but the skilled guys then could do the same thing now. And all the rules are so different. So he also and, and Gilbert is just a shock jock. Yeah, that just talk. Gilbert said that that Kareem can't play. Yeah, so, well, you know, well he so, said he said that Kareem didn't change the game because no one took on the hook shot after that <clears> after him, <throat> right? Yeah. And I, I understand that point because Kareem mastered the hook shot. Uh, Magic Johnson had the hook shot a little bit, but I mean, no, so, no youngsters was really up. I mean, you know, when they start no, talking they about changing the game, some of that stuff is overrated. Change the yeah. game, how yeah. he won, and, and and maybe what he did was so difficult nobody else could do it. Yeah, and they're, they're saying like, so James Harden, he's a guy that has changed the game. Right? Yeah, he changed the game for the worse, not for the better. I agree, but. Like in the trainings now, like they're training, they're training guys. James Harden skills, yeah, yeah they're, they're exactly. Tra- well, see, like this the whole thing. No matter how you train, those guys back then could travel, but they were calling. <laughs> they were calling. <laughs> Referees they were calling. Yeah, they, back they then. were calling traveling, and they were calling carrying. Then, because I mean, so, even the 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 name of his shot is a travel. The triple step back. The, the the triple step. So triple, ste- triple step mean I'm bro, I'm already I'm out. stepping and I'm not dribbling. <laughs> so yeah, there's no such thing <laughs> as triple. So like, also no. a lot of the moves that James Harden yeah. and all these guys do in the sixties, they wouldn't have been able to do that, so they wouldn't have been that fabulous. Yeah. You know, so all that give give it is just a shock guy that just say stuff, you know, and, and this is what I will tell the fans to pay attention to who's always criticizing the older players. Yeah, no, it's, so, play, and again, attention. it's not, you know, it's not Michael Jordan. It's yeah. not Tim Duncan. It's not LeBron James. It's not KD. It's not Magic. It's always somebody like Gilbert Arenas and J.J. Reddick. <laughs> These middle of the road guys. You never hear the all-time greats criticizing the other all-time greats. Yeah. There's always these guys that's not all-time greats running their mouth. Yeah. Because yeah. I haven't ever heard right. Charles Barkley say that Oscar Robinson and Bill Russell them can't play. It's always J.J. Reddick, well, they, Jason Williams, and Gilbert Arenas. There, there was a time when they say that Gilbert Arenas was the, the toughest to guard in the NBA. You know, there was a time. There was a time. When they say that Do about two days, remember they, said the time? They, said, they said that about two days. They, they started saying it on Friday. By Monday, they were like, not so much. They changed their mind? Yeah, they changed their so mind. Not so fast, my yeah. friend. Yeah. Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert could score, so. yeah. but Gilbert is just a shock jock that'll say anything to yeah. give a like or a click or, 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 or a subscriber. Yeah, no, he could definitely score. He could yeah. score that thing. Yeah, yeah. Agent but Zero he, was but a he real couldn't thing. win. He could no. score, but he couldn't win. No, he was in one of those situations. Because he let LeBron whisper in his ear and he missed two free throws. So he, <laughs> so he mentally weak. So he could talk yeah. about something. He could talk about something. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I like Gilbert. I got love, Adrian. 
Let you give give well, every now and then give a will say something makes sense. Say something crazy. No, nah, he'll say something makes sense, then he'll say ten crazy things. Yeah, <laughs> and just lose all credibility from yeah. before. But 